guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have decided to start the long overdue process of going through my makeup collection and trying to clean it out because it is just a bit ridiculous at the moment. I have way too much stuff that hardly ever gets used. And so today I want to tackle my lipstick drawer. This drawer is just full to the brim and there's no organization, no rhyme or reason where everything goes. I kind of just shoved it all in one drawer when I moved and I never actually sorted it out. So I've been literally using like two or three lipsticks and I have way too many to even count. So I've decided to go through everything, get rid of all the expired makeup because I know there's definitely some expired makeup in there. Um, get rid of all the old products that I do not want anymore slash don't use anymore. And if there's anything good, I might donate it. But honestly, they might all be kind of old. When they get that real gross like crayon smell, you know it's bad. So I'm going to be trying to throw away as many old products as possible. And hopefully sorting this mess out. So I just went to Ikea. I bought a big tray that I thought would be perfect to fit some liquid lipsticks in and then regular lipsticks and all that kind of thing just to kind of give it some sort of organization. Wish me luck. So I have these drawers from Ikea. I have a couple of them underneath my desk. Um, this is a six like long Alex drawer, I guess. So there's three kind of shorter sections and three bigger sections. My lipstick drawer is this one. And are you actually joking me? It is so full. Just full of all kinds of brands, no organization whatsoever. I did buy this like ages ago, but most of my lipsticks except for the MAC ones don't sit in it. So I don't think I'm gonna try and use that. I think I'm just gonna lay everything down, but literally, like nobody needs this much lipstick. Just looking at this drawer makes me have anxiety. Like, oh my God, I don't even know where to start. What I'm kind of thinking is maybe doing liquid lipsticks in these big ones here because I know I have a majority of liquid lipsticks. Sorting them out into maybe like nudes and then colors, maybe. These smaller trays up here will be perfect for regular lipsticks. And I'm gonna take this out straight away. So any of the bulky items, I'm just gonna take straight out. I don't know why I keep packaging like this sometimes, but I just like it. So like probably don't need to do that either. So by Huda, we're gonna take this out because it's just a waste of space. This is going to be colored, nude colored, maybe weird colors up the top just in case and lip liners top left. So I have a bunch of different lip liners. I've got some Kylie. Lots of my lip liners are Kylie lip liners because I used to buy the packs pretty often. The lip kits, I should say. Um, a bunch of them don't have their lids either, which is, I love that. Colourpop. This is a really weird color. It's this weird like dark purple. Honestly, I feel like I should get rid of this because I'm not gonna wear that color and this is probably like three years old. See, this is why I struggle because I don't wanna get rid of things that I have like bought. I'm so bad at getting rid of product. Am I ever gonna do purple lips? No, so if you get rid of it, go away, bye. Now I know for a fact all of these Napoleon lipsticks are 100% expired because I worked there probably like three years ago, maybe even longer. So I know these are definitely expired. They have to go straight into the bin. Nobody should be subjected to smelling them or using them. This one was actually cool. It was like a white lipstick. Loved it, but only really for mixing. Goodbye. Ooh, another blast from the past. This Makeup Forever palette. This is one of the number seven uh, lipstick palettes. You guys. So you know how I was talking about expired makeup? This is probably over five years old. Like, no. This is like seven years old. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to show you this because it's disgusting. Can you see that? 
Oh my god, that is mold growing. Ugh. Goodbye. Can't believe that was still in here. More Kylie lip liners. This is MAC Saw, which Kylie Jenner used to rave about, so everyone went out and bought it. It's this really pretty, I don't know, brownie pink, whatever, I don't know. That's a keeper. Now these are some of my favorite liquid lipsticks in the entire world. These are the Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. And this formula is genuinely like one of my favorite formulas. I love these. Some of my favorite colors are Smile because it's adorable and pink. We've got Chloe Money, which is a really, really nice kind of deeper nude. And my all-time favorite, whoops, that's a gloss. That one is a gloss. Where are we gonna put lip glosses? Up the top, maybe. My other, <laughs> my all-time favorite. Coco K. Smile, Clo Money, Coco K. Honestly, I'm gonna get rid of True Brown. Never want it. Damn Gina is a gloss. We'll put that in the gloss section. Another liquid lipstick formula that I really like are the Too Faced Melted Matte. This is the color Cool Girl and this is Feeling Myself. Both absolutely beautiful. If you ever want a cool toned um, liquid lipstick, I definitely recommend Cool Girl. That's gorgeous. See, I like Coco K so much that I have two of them needed. So I have quite a small collection of MAC lipsticks. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. About 10 MAC lipsticks. And honestly, I don't really wear them. I very rarely wear regular lipstick. I pretty much stick to liquid lipsticks on a daily basis. But I think I started just buying them purely because that's kind of what was in fashion and like that's what everyone was doing. That one there is Runway Hit. That's actually really pretty. I, sh I should wear these, but I just don't. Kinda Sexy is really nice as well. That's that one there. Faux. I'm doing my swatches so badly. Really similar to Kinda Sexy, just a bit more purpley toned. Velvet Teddy, everybody's fave. Slightly more brown. I find that one a bit almost too brown for me. But yeah, I don't really wear MAC lipsticks, honestly, so I don't know why I keep them, but I just like having them. I went through a bit of a stage where I was just like building my kit and just collecting heaps and heaps of makeup. I went into a bit of like a just could not stop spending money on makeup. And now this is making me realize how much I've actually spent and probably don't use like half of. Another one of my all time favorite, favorite brands for liquid lipstick. This is the OG. This is honestly where my liquid lipstick obsession started. Lime Crime Velveteens. Oh my god. I've got so many. I have such a big Lime Crime collection. It's actually ridiculous. The first one I think I ever really wanted was Cashmere. Everyone's favorite. So good. And then I've got ones like this, which is like Teacup. Oh my god, it's so cool. It's like this periwinkle blue. So cool. Oh my god. And black velvet. Fetish, such a good color. Ooh. My personal favorites are from the Girls, Girls, Girls collection. Another favorite is Prairie, which is uh, such a pretty nudie pink. That one there. See, this is making me rediscover all the ones that I love so much. Oh, another good one from Too Faced is Child Star. This is another really pretty kind of um, neutral nude. Oh my God, there's so many nudes. Another bunch of just random colors. I've got Jeffree Star. We've got Alien from Lime Crime, Posh. And these caked lip fondants are really, really good. This one is in the color Jelly, and I love the formula of these. They're a lot thicker than a lot of other liquid lipsticks. They're not as liquidy. They're more of literally like a fondant feeling. Really, really good though. Super full pigment. They stay on really nicely as well. I've got the Graveyard Girl and Tarte um, Tardis Lip Paint in the color Swamp Family. This is a really beautiful red, classic true red, which is very in Bonnie style. This is a very similar formula actually to the... Um, caked lip fondant. It's almost like a thicker, fluffier feeling, almost like a whipped formula. Um, however, this one doesn't dry down, which annoys me so much because why would you create like a liquid lipstick that doesn't dry? 
whatever. I've got this KKW Kylie collection as well. These are beautiful colours. I'm going to keep the packaging for this one just because I love this box. And they look real pretty. I'm going to keep this. Also have a bunch of Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I really like this formula as well. My favourite is probably Mannequin. Such a good brownie nude. I'm nude. I buy so many nudes. They're all different though. Which is like lighter rose matter. Which is so pretty. That's gorgeous. Mannequin, I'm nude, rose matter. I bought these Etude House lipsticks so, so long ago. I literally got them because I loved the packaging so much. But I think it's definitely time to let these go because they're definitely expired. Oh, such good colour. Charm by Kylie as well. Love it. Oh, we found another Honey Love by MAC. Nice colour. Oh, this Jeffree Star lipstick in beauty pageant. Literally just bought it because it was super shiny, super pink. I think I've worn it once and couldn't even wear it out, but I really like it. I have such an issue with letting things go. Oh my god, you have no idea how much I hunted for these two lime crime lipsticks as well because when I went to America, they had them in Urban Outfitters and I like freaked out. So this is the colour Eraser, peachy, amazing. Love that colour so much. And then we've got the shade Coquette, which I used to fangirl over so much and it's such a pretty nude. Such a good formula as well. They do smell a bit gross. I don't really love the smell of those ones, but they've always smelled that way, so I know they're not expired. The lipstick from Vanity, La Femme, really pretty. Cool packaging too, really cool packaging. Oh, the Mariah Carey and MAC collection. This packaging is so pretty. The prettiest packaging ever. Oh my God. This is in the color Darling. Well, she's ruined it. We are almost done. I have just thrown out a bunch of just colors that I don't really want slash uh, just too old, that sort of thing. But I did want to mention a couple of my favorite lipsticks, if I haven't been doing enough of that. This is Dose of Colors Truffle, such a good color, love that one so much. The MAC Retro Matte Formula is insanely good. This is like the stuff that I wear when I'm going out on you know, a night out or something like that, and I want my lipstick to not budge. I love the MAC formula heaps. This is in the color Back in Vogue, and it's such a good peach kind of nude. I love it heaps. Sugar Pills Trinket. This is like a pink with gold flecks in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see Trinket here. It's got little gold reflections in it, and is just beautiful. And last but not least, this is my favorite lip gloss of all time. And I'm really sad that I'm probably never gonna be able to get this again, which is really annoying. This is the Too Faced Funfetti Ultra Plush Lip Gloss. This is the best formula, color, everything. Just everything about it is perfect. It's the best lip gloss ever. It is, it's just this kind of sheer nude color, but the pigment is quite rich. It doesn't go patchy. It is in the color Mocha Freeze, apparently. It's just so good. But it came as part of the limited edition, like, Fun Fetty collection. So I don't know if they're ever going to just release it in something else. But I'll be so sad when I run out of this one. It's so good. So good. And I am finished. <gasps> I still have a lot. I'm going to say that right now. I still have a lot. This whole section here with all the kind of crazy colors, I probably could get rid of, but I like to have them just in case I want to do any kind of like crazy makeup looks just in case. And this is an issue I have with all my makeup. I keep a lot of things just in case. So I've already downsized heaps. I'm going to put this back in the drawer. I'm so excited. Oh, it's so much more organized. Another good gloss are the Too Faced Lip Injection Extremes. These hurt, but they are great. And this pile of lipsticks that I'm getting rid of, thank the Lord. That was just cluttering up my life. I don't need it anymore. <gasps> oh my God. I kept this aside just to disgust you even more. Remember that kind of moldy looking lipstick? I just found a couple of liners that were just as bad. Oh 
my god. This is meant to be like a dark purple. And you see what colour it is? Ugh! I mean, it's actually... It makes me want to throw up. It's so gross. Yuck. So I definitely could keep on going through this and getting rid of colours that I don't need. But I just want them all. I love them so much. Amazing lip balm. The Glam Glow Pout Mud. This is the wet lip balm treatment. It's amazing. Super minty. Love it. Another really good lip kind of balm product is the Physicians Formula Argan Oil Lip Oil. Um, this is a coloured version, so it's kind of like a pinky tone, but it literally just feels like oil on your lips. And I really like it. So this is the before. It's so beautiful, I love it. So we've got all of my lip liners, my lip glosses, some random lipsticks, MAC lipsticks, crazy colours, um, lip treatments and balms and things. These are all my like pinks and reds and like orangey colours and then these are all my nudes. Oh my god, I'm so happy with how this looks now. That's such a relief. So it might still seem like quite a lot of product, but I'm a makeup artist and I'm a makeup collector and I can't help myself sometimes. So I do use these products. I try to get rid of as many as possible, but I also have like such a bad attachment to all my makeup. So it's baby steps. At least it's organized now. I'm going to be able to reach all the products that I go to on a daily basis um, really easily now. So I'm really happy about that. And I've rediscovered a bunch of lipsticks that I had totally forgotten that I even had. So I'm super happy with that. So if you enjoyed this makeup clean out slash some of my favorite lip products like or makeup collection video, let me know in the comments because I can do this similar sort of video with all my other drawers because I have 11 other drawers that need to be cleaned out. So if you would like to see the rest of my makeup collection, let me know in the comments. Would you prefer seeing more of the things that I threw away or would you prefer seeing more of like my favorite items? I'm happy to do either. So let me know in the comments. And other than that, I hope you all are having a really great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.